What's going on, guys? So the other day, my wife dropped my 2015 MacBook Pro on the corner right here. Didn't really get any damage, but now the uh, computer will turn on, but nothing will show on the screen, so it's just a black screen. You can't see, but turning the caps lock on does turn the light on there, and adjusting the screen brightness does make a difference, okay? You can't see it on there, but it does make a difference. I can clearly see that it's working. I've tried everything. I've tried resetting every single thing. I've tried booting in a safe mode. I've tried everything to get the screen on besides hooking up to an external monitor. What I'm going to do now is actually take the back off. I ordered this like $6 set of screwdrivers on Amazon and I'm gonna take the computer uh, apart and see if there's a loose cable or anything like that. So hopefully that fixes it. Hopefully maybe this will help you guys out. If it doesn't, I won't post this, but if it does, cheers. Okay guys, I'm fucking freaking out right now. So you can clearly see the computer's on. This is the same computer, the Bottom, I haven't even put everything back on there. It's still the case, it's right there. It turned on, I got it to turn on. I think all I did was unplug the uh, the battery from the actual uh, logic board, and I think that's what fixed it. I didn't mess around with anything else. There's no other loose cables. Like, I fondled with the graphics, um, with the monitor cable, but it didn't look loose. It didn't look like messed with or anything like that. I don't think that's what did it. I watched or I read this one comment somewhere on YouTube or Reddit or wherever. This guy said the only thing that worked for him was disconnecting his battery, and that's all that worked for us. Everything else did not work. Any other trick didn't work. Pressing any buttons didn't work. If your MacBook got dropped and you have a black screen, but it chimes and it, the caps locks turns on and like it seems to be alive, Take your computer apart and disconnect the battery from the logic board. Now, guys, I am not a computer technician. I have no expertise in this, okay? If you damage your computer, that is totally on you. I have no liability, and please do your research before you do anything to your computer because it may void your warranty, you may die, or you may break your computer even worse. So those three things alone, Please don't do this if you don't know what the heck you're doing, but this was really, really simple. Um, I'm not even gonna like mess around with the time lapse. I'm just gonna show you guys this really, really quick, okay? So I'm just gonna turn the computer off so I don't die, getting electrocuted, okay? So all I did is this is the back of the computer. This is where the monitor is, okay? This right here is the battery cable, okay? That's the batteries right there, the batteries right there. And then this is the little connector for the logic board. So all I did was grab my little pry tool, pry that up, and that's all I did. I left it disconnected for a couple minutes while I like I like poked and pried it through here. But again, guys, I literally did nothing else, nothing else, and all I did was disconnect the battery. So I really, really hope this helps. Um, hopefully, you fix your computer because I was really sad yesterday. Uh, one other tip: when you put your case back on. The two screws that are actually right here, so this is where the monitor meets up, where the flange is, are actually shorter, okay? So those two screws are shorter than the rest, so make sure you mark that. I'm not sure how important it is or how critical it is, but it is something to know, guys. So, again, cheers, take care, subscribe, follow us, resellerjunkie.com. My name is Sebastian. Take care.